Hi guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. And can a kitty cat have asthma? Yes, totally. I'm going to go over the symptoms at home, how a veterinarian will diagnose it with their different tests, and what a veterinarian usually does to treat it. Number one, symptoms you will notice at home. It can be a couple different things, guys. And the things I talked about most commonly are going to be increased respiration, so more regular respirations, increased abdominal or chest effort. So we go from just a normal breathing to really just pushing that air out. Also, a kitty cat may pant or open mouth breathe. They should not do that. So if a kitty cat's opening their mouth and they're that's a problem. And of course, coughing can also be seen. All these symptoms can be acute or chronic depending on how severe or acute or chronic the asthma is. Number two, how a veterinarian will diagnose it. A veterinarian will of course do x-rays. Yes, 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 they will do x-rays. X-rays will allow us to assess the lungs. A veterinarian may say that there is like a bronchial or interstitial pattern, and this tells us that there's some inflammation going on in the lungs. Remember, feline asthma is usually almost like bronchitis. It's inflammation generalized throughout the lungs. Also, a veterinarian may notice that their the lungs are hyperlucent, meaning that they're a little darker, meaning air is being trapped in the lungs. So an x-ray is going to allow us to evaluate if the kitty cat may have asthma. Also, a veterinarian is going to do some blood work and they will probably do a small cardiac workup, maybe an ECG, maybe a ProBNP to rule out a heart issue. Because no joke, guys, heart issues and lung issues can be hard to tell the difference. So expect your vet to maybe do a cardiac workup too, just to rule that out so they can say with confidence it's asthma. How are you veterinarian treat it? A veterinarian is going to do a couple different things. Now, on a previous video, I talked about inhalers. Inhalers are great. You can do fluticasone, or you can do albuterol, and you know these are great. The fluticasone is a steroid. The albuterol is a bronchodilator. Open the airways up, reduce inflammation, give very regularly at first, and then cutting back as time progresses and how we, as we manage the case. Other thing is, a lot of veterinarians will do oral medications, and this is really, really common. If your kitty cat is healthy enough, they may do an oral steroid, which can really, it affects the entire cat's body. It's a generalized, you know, tablet or liquid that affects the entire body. However, these medications can be very effective at controlling asthma, especially if your kitty cat is really, really seriously dysmic and struggling to breathe and uncomfortable. So they may do that in conjunction. And a lot of times if your kitty cat's really uncomfortable, they may do an oxygen cage. They may do uh, injectables. They may do all kinds of stuff to stabilize your cat before it goes home. Cat asthma, guys, can be seasonal. It can be chronic. It can be acute. It can be all kinds of presentations. Your veterinarian will do their very best to manage it uh, short term to address, to address the like the spikes and the the acute flare-ups and they also have a chronic game plan to manage it long term